about 24 hours left for collegiate stars to make the call. The Heisman Trophy winner making his decision today. Once again, Sam Bradford is staying at Oklahoma. The redshirt sophomore making the announcement within the hour. The quarterback led the nation's most prolific offense and brought the Sooners to the national championship game. The NFL, yes, tempting for someone with his resume, but Bradford is staying. After looking at all the information and obviously weighing the pros and cons of both opportunities that I have, I feel that it is in my best interest to come back to the University of Oklahoma for my junior season. I've dreamed about playing at Oklahoma since I was little, and my three years here have been probably three of the best years of my life, and I really feel that there's no need to cut this experience short, and I'm really looking forward to coming back and competing for a four straight Big 12 championship and another opportunity at a national championship. All right, so Bradford, he's had quite a career in just two seasons, three years, two seasons. This year became the seventh player to win the Heisman and play in the BCS championship game. Those players, by the way, one in six in those games. In his two seasons, he's had 86 career passing touchdowns, which is the most by any player through his sophomore season in the history of college football. He also led major college football in pass efficiency in both his freshman and sophomore seasons. The Sooners over 700 points this season, five times topping 60 points in a game against good Big 12 competition. College football reporter Joe Shad joining us now. Joe, you were the first to report the Sam Bradford staying in school. All right, why is he staying? We know, Jay, Sam Bradford didn't just want to go to the NFL. He wanted to make sure that when he arrived, he was best prepared to have a long and successful NFL career. He's only been in college for two seasons. Although he's remarkably poised and accurate and mature, there's no doubt that Sam Bradford could fill out a little bit, get a little bit stronger, work some more under shotgun. And more than anything, if you listen to Sam Bradford's comments today, he convinced a couple of his offensive teammates to come back and not go to the draft, too. Big old offensive lineman Trent Williams, tight end Jermaine Grisham. But what Sam Bradford says is he didn't like the taste that was left in his mouth in that Gators game. He wants to go out a winner. What was the information he was getting from the NFL about, you know, where he would go, what kind of quarterback he'd be right now? Well, there's no question that Sam Bradford would, would have been one of the top quarterbacks drafted. He might have been the first quarterback drafted. But, of course, some people might have preferred a Matthew Stafford, a Mark Sanchez. Staff, uh, St uh, uh, Bradford said today that even if he was for sure the top three picks in the NFL draft, he's still certain that he made the right decision.